Ask Tom on Home Show. Roxana from Albert, Oklahoma, has some crack concerns. Yeah, Tom, she's concerned about these cracks she's seeing in her bricks. They're not real big, but they got her worried. Roxana writes, there are some minor cracking above the ground floor window and further cracking beneath the window to the first floor. At the back of the house, there's displacement of a three to four millimeters cracking between the ground floor set of windows and the opening there and a first floor window opening. How serious, Tom, she wants to know, are these cracks and do they need immediate repair? Uh, if the house is moving a little bit and the cracks are caused by that, then there's no emergency repair that's needed. It's not an emergency, whether it's a foundation, whether your framing's moving a little bit, uh, who knows. The best thing I tell people to do is when they see some cracks like this, either mentally mark them, take a picture of them, or even put a little mark on there with something that can wash off later after you waited a while or a piece of tape and make sure they don't get worse. If they don't get worse, they don't move anymore. Everything seems to stay the same for a long period of time. And I'm talking three months, half a year, whatever it takes, don't don't rush into it. Then you could just have a mason come out and do some brick repair on there and it probably will be fine. But I don't think it's a major concern. Now, if they start getting worse and you're seeing them opening up more and more and you're seeing more and you're documenting this, then you could have some excessive movement. Why, I'm not sure. But hopefully, if, there's, if you don't see any more, it could have been expansion, contraction. It could have been a little movement. It could have been a dry year, a wet year. Who knows? It could have been a minor earthquake that's gone away and not coming back. And believe it or not, we get little rumbles sometimes in different parts of the country. But as long as it's not going, it getting any worse, and usually it's just re cosmetic repair. Now, the, and that in the brick cracks in the veneer like that when she's seeing that and and maybe they're stair stepping maybe they're not or whatever tom yeah. those that's not the only thing you should signal a foundation problem right well foundation problems will also show up with sticking doors that aren't latching properly windows that don't open properly it can get really severe where the glass in the window will crack because it's stressed so much so that's pretty severe stuff that you're going to have and usually the cracks above doors and windows on the inside of the house where there's sheetrock they'll go diagonally above the top of the corners of the door or windows and they'll open up at the top and stay closed at the bottom when you start seeing that then it's usually a foundation problem now, also say, since this is in Oklahoma, and I'm not saying this had anything to do with it, but they had some issues at the beginning when fracking started, and there were some neighborhoods that had some slight movement. And since they figured out what was going on and they they, they fixed the, the issue, it hasn't been a problem since. So it could have been, and I, I've seen it even do this. In, in a house that I built for somebody, they decided to replace all the roads and all the sewers. And they dug up, it was a very tight neighborhood, they dug up the entire road system with huge equipment, which shook the ground so much that houses got a lot of cracks and some have had to head foundation repair, including one I built because of it. And it was uh, beyond uh, anybody's control. It was what the, uh, in this case, the city came in and did. So you'll be amazed how a house will move around a little bit, but is it the end of the world will it fall down on you? No. No, I think we learned a long time ago from Elmer at Due West, no such thing as emergency foundation repair. Exactly. And Take your time. And like I say, if nothing else happens because you're new in the house, nothing else happens. Just if you want to have it cosmetically repaired, it's just like somebody running a, a cart into your sheetrock and you, that little hole stays there for a while. But eventually mm -hmm. you want to you want to fix it. And so you fix it. But it's not a tragedy or an emergency. You were talking about the windows breaking when yes. foundations shift. And that happened to me. Uh, one it? night, one night, wow. Sandy and I were fast asleep and there was this crash noise and we woke up and we're like, what is it? What is it? And we pulled the curtains aside and, and we have like a little bay window in our master bedroom. And one of the windows on the side had the when we wound up having foundation repair we, that we knew it was coming, but we didn't realize it had shifted so much that the window literally sheared and half of the glass came falling down out of the window. Ooh, so, that so it, 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 usually yeah. you just get a crack, but it'll make a yeah. heck of a pop. It, it'll be enough to scare you for sure. Oh yeah, I mean, and and it, it was just a little corner of it came cracking down, and so for a long time until we had that well, a long time like three or four months till we had the foundation repair, we had this very attractive cardboard taped up on our window as I, I told Sandy I told Sandy I bet you never thought I'd take care of you like this 
<laughs> That's it. <laughs> you got a question, we'll help you out the same way we just did here. Click on that Ask Tom button at our website. Fill out the form. You can either send us a video or you can send it in writing to us. Either way, we're happy to get it. But what really helps us, like Roxana did, send us a picture. Down there in the corner, you'll see pictures help. Send those to us, and we'll be happy to help you because we post a new one of these every day on our, on our uh, YouTube channel. You'll find them there and at homeshowradio.com.